U.S. and the Philippines have begun joint military exercises. Just days after, President Rodrigo Duterte said they would be the last such drills during his term in office. And it seems the locals support his plan. Crowds gathered in front of the U.S. Embassy in Manila to vent their anger against the presence of American troops in the country. The locals held banners reading, U.S. troops out now. Their message are perhaps a little more diplomatic compared to President Duterte's recent tirades against Washington. Instead of helping us, ang unang tumira itong State Department. So, you can go to hell. Mr. Obama, you can go to hell. You, you better choose purgatory. Puno na sa imperno. Bakit ako matakot sa inyo? The U.S. State Department said Duterte's rhetoric is at odds with the warm relations previously enjoyed by the two states. The Philippine president's foul-mouthed tirades have so far failed to rouse a firm reaction from Washington. Uh, Obama only saying that Duterte is a colorful man, though it seems that Washington doesn't want to lose a valuable regional ally. You must be respectful. Don't just throw away questions and statements. It's not for us to parse uh, what he may have intended to say there. Okay naman siya kasi nag-away kami nung ambasador niya. Sabi ko, yung ambasador niya, yung bak**** buisit ako dyan. I think what we're seeking is perhaps um, a better understanding of, of why that um, why that statement was made. So that Kerry pumunta dito, nagkain kami, iniwanan pa kami ni si Delpi ng 33 million dollars. So okay to ah. Bastusin natin uli para magreglo itong buang na ito. <laughs> we look uh, forward to working uh, closely with his administration uh, going forward. The, the Philippines is an ally and a partner in the region. There is a real crisis in relations between Manila and Washington. Manila was a very major base for the United States during the bad old days of the war in Vietnam from 1965 to 1975. Now... With the retreat, apparent retreat of Washington from Manila, this is going to cause a reexamination of the global balance of forces by Washington. And certainly that could also impact what Washington's plans are for Syria.